So here we are, a little walk along the beach at the Malamaki. Keep in the sea. Handling. Not quite 10 o'clock in the morning, or Sunday morning. Not too many people around. All at church. Should do this job. It's uh, just time of the day, really. It's not really hot, but it's nice and warm. A little bit of breeze. Got a few different colours in the rocky cliffs. just in uh, light cloud so it's not too burning hot fascinating uh, these rocky cliffs uh, that one looks sheer does the uh, rock it looks like it's been cut in half now you can walk round the back of these this big boulder you can be brave like me and walk through the water, which isn't very deep. <laughs> there you go, there's the escape route. If you don't want to get your feet wet. It's coming this way through the water. Get more views. The cliff and there's the deep flag flying high. A little bit of vegetation there on the cliff. We walk along. People still in the water. There are other people in the water as well. Cave there, little cave. I'm not going in it. That'd be a sabre tooth feline waiting for me. Another one of these uh, little beach bars here. I noticed on the way up here the uh, sunbeds on this one. These on the beach are uh, 20 euros for two. Further down, I'll show you where. A 10 euro is for two and an umbrella. Well, they're set back a little bit from the beach, but they're up above the beach, so they're not too bad. But these, some up above the beach there, and some on the beach, and 20 euro is for two. Think about Kalamaki. You stay in the park, and all the hotels here helping people to go around the pools. I think you spend some money in their bar. So you may be a resident in one hotel and uh, there are lots of strangers there. But similarly you can go and sit around anybody else's uh, bubble. Mini market and Danny Taverna takeaway open all day up there. The early morning mist is beginning to uh, just start fading away a little bit. Avoid that little boy with his uh, buckets full of water. You can see the sun. Now starting to cast shadow as the sun's getting out nicely now. 
It'll be very warm in a few minutes. And in the background, I don't know if we can catch it on here. You might see it as it gets nearer, and I can't see it because I'm looking a little bit into the sun. Kalamaki Airport is very near the main. There's a Kimpis Airport, very near Kalamaki. And I'm staring straight into the sun, I can't see. But there's an aircraft coming in now. Into the bright sky there. There, somewhere. Getting lower and lower. And there's a bit here, behind the trees there. And there she goes. Lots of little fishes in the, uh, in the sea here, people looking. And this, of course, is there. Uh, uh, the turtles. Are they called hammerhead turtles? I don't know, but they're, you can see them over here. They come out. You can't come on this beach. I think it's between seven at night and seven in the morning. And uh, the, the turtles were um, hatching last week and running up and down the um, beach here. So they I think they clear all these areas of sand and uh, not of sand, of the um, footprints and things and then they can uh, environmental people can count how many baby turtles have hatched out and made their way to the sea if they happen during the night and see there and uh, a lot of the uh, hotels do a little, have someone in and do a little talk about the uh, habits of the turtles, so that's quite interesting. There's a lot more of the turtle uh, uh, hatch pens here, up here, look. Near the, uh, Lifeguard station. A lot of people around here as well. Uh, they've even got their own windbreaks and those. Paddling through. Sorry. <laughs> there we go. And this beach here near the uh, lifeguard station there. I mentioned that the others were two for 20, the uh, sunbeds are two for 10 there. You sat a little bit back off the beach, but still in the sun. Resort, or the young people resort, or Laganus is just up there a mile or so, a mile and a half, two miles from Kalamaki. So I'm going to go and sit on the beach and then go and have a swim.